Hi everybody, thank you very, very much for uh, for tuning in to this week. I'm going to say subscribing, but that brings me on nicely. If you haven't subscribed, please will you like and subscribe, please. Um, if you don't follow, also give us a follow. But yes, this week has been a busy week. I've been everywhere. I've been to Manchester, Liverpool, Sheffield, uh, and then, yeah, it's been a, it's been a very busy week. Um, we've had a couple of football games in the middle of it as well. I've been on a golf trip, so it's been very cool. I've enjoyed it. So, lots of exciting things coming up this week, including uh, a question. I, I've been asking you guys on TikTok and Instagram to get your questions in for people whose hair I cut. Uh, if you could ask a question, what would you ask? This week it was from Danny. Uh, I put it on the on the on this week's sub. So, yeah, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please subscribe. Get your comments in, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. But, yeah, this is my week. Yes, everybody, it is the start of a new week for me. Uh, yeah, it's a Saturday today, though, so I have two haircuts to do today. Burnley has a big game tomorrow, so I've got two Burnley players to do today. So, an exciting day, but a bit random one. Over there on TikTok, don't know if you guys are here, everybody's selling stuff on TikTok. So, I had a bit of a bored day. Now, this is not an advert because I actually bought this. Um, 22 quid it cost me because TikTok did these like little vouchers for your purchases, but I got. You've all heard of mystery boxes, I presume. So this is a mystery non-league football shop, and the money goes towards the non-league clubs. So I don't know what shirt it is. Um, I don't necessarily support a non-league team other than ones that my clients play for, so I'd have to probably pick five because two play there, maybe not three play there. So we'll open it together, let's see what we've got. So yeah, so there's like a buzz for these things, you know, I've got me a little knife now to open it. As you can see, it is not being unsealed, I literally don't have a clue what's in this, so I might hate it, I might love it, but we'll do it together. Something, something different. So, oh, ignore me buying this, sorry. Right, so there we go, we're all open. So, dun, dun, dun. Nice little sticker on the front, the non-league football store. Now, I ordered it, it's in a size medium. Ooh, right. I don't know what your favourite brands are, but for some strange reason, I really enjoy Kappa. Straight away, I've seen a Kappa bag, so I'm buzzing with that. Got a little sheet over this. It's a size medium. Oh, I still don't know what it is. I actually don't. So, we've got a little thing there that says who the brand is. Have you heard about our monthly subscription? So, there's a subscription service. I'm going to do this one there. Look at that. Now, there is a program on the top. Now, this one is... It's got a little programme with it from 1992-1993 season. Official match programme, Atherstone United. I want to Google it there in a minute because I've literally never heard of it. Look at that. I guess Dover. It's got a little team sheet. Sorry that. I don't know if it'll focus on this camera. If not, no it won't. Oh, it will do. There you go, a little team sheet. It's got the... Uh, Adders versus Dover, Saturday, 24th April, 20, uh, 1993, sorry. What condition that is in, by the way. Absolute class. So this is the shirt. So, it's red and black stripes. It's in mint condition, obviously, because it's got the tags on it. And it's called Winchester City FC. So the, the program is actually not that, so that's awesome, that's different. So you get a random program, and I've got Winchester City FC founded in 1884. I'm going to do a bit of research on these, find out who these guys are. But yeah, this is my mystery match shirt. So, it's a regular fit, Kappa. This is awesome. Let me show you closer. So we're back, let me try and get focus on that, there you go. So Winchester City FC. Little Kappa thing. Doesn't have the retro Kappa on the sleeves, and I'm a big fan of that. I presume this is this season. It's got all the stickers on it. Uh, I can't see a date on it. And then it looks rather small for it, but that's Kappa in it all over, let's be fair. But we'll try it on in a bit, sort of thing. And then this is the program Adders versus Dover. Random program. I'll have a look through that. The first bit. haircut today is at Matt Lawton's house. We're going to go there, and I have the question of the week was directed towards Matt Lawton, so I can't wait to. Uh, to do that, I will post and I will contact the person whose question it was and I'll tag them in it, so well done to you. Uh, so yes, yeah, stay tuned for that one. It will be on my socials. If you want to get your question of the week into one of your players, um, we'll try and do it a different player every week. Throw me your questions, comment on there below uh, or on one of the social media posts and I will do it on there. But yes, let's go.
Right, so I got a question for you, Matt. So the question came in, and I can't remember who asked it, so I'm gonna have a look for it in a minute and tag it. It was, what's the favourite goal you've ever scored? Was it the one for Burnley versus Palace or the Villa versus Stoke, was it? Yeah. Um, they both enjoyed them both, really. I'd say probably the favourite was uh, at Palace. There's a bit more to it, you know, getting on the halfway line, running one, two, and then, you know, the volley into the far corner. The only thing that was missing, really, was the fans. You know, that's why, that's why I really enjoyed the Stoke one um, when I was at Villa because, you know, running to the fans and that gives you that special feeling. So, um, you know, I enjoyed them both a lot. But I'd say, you know, the Palace, the Palace goal was probably tougher. Uh, there was more involved with the goal, but just missing the fans and, and, you know, that buzz that you get from that. That's a good, uh, good question. I enjoyed that one. Right, get your next questions in. Yes guys, so it is game day and I am just getting ready, uh, we've done talkies and Matt's hair ready for the match today so looking forward to seeing them live uh, on the TV. Uh, we're going down, we're back in the disabled section that I showed you before so I will do a little video on my form today at the entrance of what it's like because they still have the grass bit all the way up to where the players used to come out of the changing room so I'll show you that because it's quite cool to see. Uh, but yeah, score prediction is very difficult, um, I still think we should win. But if we do win, it won't be as easy as a Southampton game uh, attacking lay. I think they're a better defensive side. So I will stay 1 0. Throw it out there. Let's see how we get on, though, guys. Let's come with me and let's go to the match. Yeah. standing by 1-0 but what a view
we've got to earn it. Um, I called it before, I said that if we will win, it will be scraping a goal uh, and holding on, and that's pretty much exactly what happened against a very, very good attacking um, wolf side, and unfortunately it just wasn't their day, it was our day, so I am buzzing with that. Further to that, Liverpool then went on to beat Everton in the Merseyside derby 2-0, so Berlin's chances of survival are higher than they were when we started. Uh, incredible performances from a lot of the players. Um, Roberts worth a mention, Tarkovsky as usual, Nick Port with two great saves that kept us in the game. So overall, delighted with that. Very, very good. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see, that was the disabled age uh, that we went in earlier. They've still got the grass, if you're wondering what the grass is for. Uh, the grass is because in Covid, the away changing rooms were there, so they put grass on the stairs so that the players could walk down with the boots on. It's still there. So you got a bit of an insight there to where the away team was coming down the stairs. Uh, what a view though. What a view up there. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, compared to the opposite side, I, know I, I didn't start doing these then, so I didn't get to see that. So yeah, on to the next game, which is next week. Now, as far as the vlog goes, we have a, two more confirmed jobs this week. One is for a Blackburn player, the goalkeeper, and the other one is for um, a guy who wants a record level. So, a pretty cool week coming up, uh, but it starts off by tomorrow morning, it's getting late, I've got to work for Matrix online. So, I'm going live on the Facebook page, so I need some rest, so I'm going to get the stuff out in the morning. I'll show you how I get prepared for that, and I'll show you my little studio and where I do it. Good morning everybody, we're back in my shed today, I have a busy day ahead, so I have a little man who's in hospital at a minute who's coming home today, so that's awesome, so this morning, first thing, went and seen him, make sure you're alright, he's good, he's coming home today, um, and then we have a live, I am live on Matrix uh, Facebook page at half past 12, I'm going to show all the products of the Curl Can Dream, uh, and how I use it on the straightest, most flattest, boring hair, which is mannequin dolls. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we can change that up using products and some heat. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So if you're into that, awesome. I've got the heater on if you can't hear that because it's freezing in here today. The temperature's completely dropped. So I need to get set up. I need to tidy up in here. Uh, since last night, I woke up this morning, we've got another footballer booked in. So I will be doing a colour and cut on this gentleman. And that is on... Uh, Wednesday, so busy day Wednesday. Then we'll so I'm going live in about an hour now, um, so I need to get set up, but check the state of this. I keep my doll's heads in like a storage thing outside. Uh, I've not got many left now, but check out the state of this. So I don't know how old this thing is. It must have been in there a while, because look at the state of it. There's probably things living in this thing. So we need to make, Courtney's got a name on the back, so we need to make Courtney look unbelievable. So I have a little wet room, so I'm going to throw her in there. And then we're going to use some products. Now, first thing I'm going to use is, boom, a Curl Can Dream. This is the shampoo. Then we need the mask and the treatment. Uh, not in that order, but this is what we need. So we've got these on here. And we're going to use these products to make this ratty old thing look awesome on a Facebook Live. So wish me luck. And then lastly, we're going to come to this one later, but this is a styling product, so we don't need that right now. So first things first. Let's watch Courtney. Well, that's the first uh, my battery went. So yeah, uh, yeah. So as I was, I don't know where I was up to, but we'll go back in. Uh, I am live. Uh, I'm just getting all my stuff sorted. I'm live in 25 minutes. So I'm just logging onto my computer behind you. Uh, I am ready to go. We have. I will be live from this screen. There we go. There's a the camera angle. I will also. I've also got the radio on at the minute. Then I've got my mannequin, which is what I'm going to do my first haircut on. I have a gents one that I'm going to do in, but if you want to see the video, obviously, then go on to, uh, go on to the Facebook. And then I'm going to be live on TikTok from this angle. So multiple sources today. And then obviously you guys can see it on my YouTube channel because I'll be blogging about it as well. So it's a busy, busy day. Uh, and then at 6 p.m. I'm going back live, but I'm a host for Hair Socials. If you don't know about Hair Socials, they have a YouTube uh, as well. And basically we'll be going live on there talking about hair up, I think it is today, but we'll find out as it comes to 6 o'clock that is live. And then I'm done for the evening, so first things first, let's go live, let's get ready uh, for Matrix. This is acceptable for doing lives, uh, especially on Facebook pages for that Matrix. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
So we've done, I need to mute that one second. So I've done my Matrix Live, that is all done and dusted, that was awesome. If you want to see how I uh, create, this is like one of the things that we did, we used this dough. If you want to see more about it and why it looks like that, please head over to the Matrix Facebook page. But yeah, we was live over on there, that was awesome. So thank you very much for having me Matrix, always a pleasure. Uh, I'm now going to get ready because in an hour, uh, I'm back live but I'm hosting for hair socials like I said earlier so make sure that you live for that, that will be uh, interesting. I'm trying something different today, I'm trying to do a new YouTube version as well so we won't just be live on Facebook, we will be live on YouTube today as we're trying to get as YouTube presence up uh, for hair socials as well as my own. So if you're watching my YouTube at Simon Townley, please feel free to help out with the at hair socials one as well, that would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. I'm going to get a brew, go and see the kids, uh, and then I'll be back in this room in an hour and you'll see the lights change and everything because it'll be a bit darker. Um, and then I'll show you how I get set up, how I bring people into the lab, and then we'll go from there. So that's it, I am done for the evening. My next job is on Wednesday. So tomorrow I'm going to get out on my back. Uh, I might show you a bit of that. But if you uh, if you enjoy it, let me know in the comments because then I'll show you more of it. But yeah, that's the end of it. So as you can see there, that was the Hair Socials Live. It is now available to watch on YouTube on Hair Socials. It was uh, Robin from South Lake Salon, there's me presenting. Um, and then watch, watch this now. I introduce the artist for a minute and then I hand over by clicking there. There we go. And then I'm just in that little corner there. And that's Robin from South Lake Salon. So yeah, so all good, that is the end of my day, I am going in the house, I'm going to have my tea and I will see you guys on Wednesday where we have got two footballers to do and one of them is having a colour, so yes, exciting day. It's what, Harry? Go and get your uh, clubs, pal. Oh, that was very. Am I actually falling at the bottom? No. Hmm. Let's have a chance to run after me again. Did you enjoy that, Harry? Yeah. I'm Good. out. <laughs> So good morning everyone, as you see yesterday we went on a little golf trip, how good is that back? Uh, I'll give you a bit of a, uh, a rundown, if anyone wants any more information on that let me know. Uh, do love that back, it's given me sort of like access to places that I couldn't go before, um, especially Sunday League as well, if you haven't seen me go and take my kids to Sunday League, I can show you that because that's awesome. Uh, well, we've got a busy day today, we are on our way first of all to Manchester, then we've got a colour and cut on Josh Windass in Sheffield. So. Yeah, busy day. I've got to pack my stuff. It's nine o'clock. Kids have gone to school, and then we've got my little work trolley there. Thankfully, it's on wheel. My back is in bits today, so thankfully this is on wheel because I can just push, push it through. Um, in the car, go and meet Elvis. Uh, pick up my tools that I need for 
colouring hair because I've got everything I'm cutting hair but not necessarily colouring hair. So yeah, busy day today so let's get to it, get a coffee because I'm tired. Yes guys, so slight change of plan, we are heading home, uh, we only did the one haircut which was Thomas, so a bit of an evening off, so I'm going to get in my back, on my back even, uh, and I'm going to go uptown late, just burn some energy seeing as I'm now not working, but I am now doing Josh's hair tomorrow, so tomorrow we're going to get up, uh, we've got to go to Da Vinci in Liverpool, which is really cool, if you don't know about that I'm going to show it here. Um, and then we're doing the guy who owns the record label and then we're going straight over to Josh's there So I'm going from Liverpool to Sheffield. So tomorrow is a very very long day So hope you enjoyed the video. Here's me on my back and uh, I will see you in the morning Great question mate, uh, a quick answer for you, I'm going to try and condense this, it can change week by week mate. So we have this week we went to Bolton and back, we did two haircuts in Bolton. Uh, today we're going to Manchester for a cut, then from Manchester to Sheffield and obviously back, I live in Burnley so that's a two hour from Ma uh, Sheffield alone. So I'll call that one, two, four uh, and then we've got Liverpool tomorrow. So yeah it can change from week to week but there's a good six hours on the road this week alone. Morning everyone, we are in Liverpool, uh, straight in it to this morning, we've gone straight to Liverpool, I'm here with Elvis. Hello everyone. Um, busy day today, like I said yesterday we got to go to, from Liverpool to Sheffield today, so we're already in Liverpool, but I have a couple of things today, so my back is killing me at the minute, so I'm trying out a new thing, because literally, Jared will tell you, uh, I'm struggling to cut hair at the minute, I'm struggling to do a full haircut without having a break. So we're trying out my little TENS machine today, I'll let you know how that goes on. Um, see if I can just get through without pain. Uh, and then, today we're going to go and get my wheelchair service. So, I've got my hat again, got my new hat, if you haven't noticed everyone, I bought a new hat this week. Um, so we're going to go in here, we're going to have a look around, uh, get my wheelchair service and show you something. And maybe I'll have to uh, tell you some exciting news that's coming out. Uh, but if not, it is coming on next week's video, I guess. So yeah, let's go here, and then we're off to the record label guy. <laughs> Where are you getting your shaft for? Go away. Go away. I'm ready. So we've just been to Da Vinci, some exciting news uh, is they've asked me if I'd do sort of like bloggy videos showing the chairs I use uh, and things like that, so that's really cool. So I'm going to be working alongside Da Vinci in the future um, and so showing you guys all the new things that are coming out, so I'm excited to do that, that's cool. Uh, but we are just now gone to the first job of the day, which is about 20 minutes from, um, from Da Vinci, it's not far, it's in a beautiful little part of the world. Some I won't show you the house, but we are here. Uh, so we're just going to go in. I've had my tyres pumped up. Uh, You're I've, feeling ready. I've had my side guards fixed, so yeah, all good. So we got this job first. I'll try and get a little video because this ends up being interesting. <laughs> Jared, what about you look at me? Jared loves it. He uh, he gets to sing and dance and, and and everything. So yeah, I'll show you a bit more of that when we get in there. But uh, then we're off to Sheffield, so it's about two and a half hours from here. So an entertaining day today.
Oh, What's he saying, Jared? Four weeks. Please, can you go with Simon today? I'm really worried about him going on his own as he's struggling so much. So as you can see, that is my work. Uh, sometimes we get to chill out as well if the clients are sound. So that was cool. We got to. I had a game of pool. I lost black ball game. Um, so that was unpo well, no, it wasn't a black ball game. I won off. Sorry. So yeah, I lost. So we've just got to Sheffield now. Uh, just pulled pull up at Vanessa Pike's house. Just waiting for Jared. Uh, I've unloaded the car. I'll show you all the gear. Uh, we're going to do Josh's hair, but we're going to turn him blonde. So I've done this before to Josh, but years and years ago. So we uh, always good to see him, one of my oldest clients, in fact. So yeah, here we go. Bye, everybody. Safe trip. So we've just done, let me flip my camera so I can see what I'm doing, there we go, so we have just done uh, Windass's air, now am I focused, I am now, so I've got to put that on, we've been there for two, just over two hours, but we did a full colour and I'm not going to lie, there were no rushing that, there were no, ch uh, it was just a full head of foils on my own and my back is killing me, so a full head of foils with a back in the way that mine is at the minute, is a fucking graft. It well hurt. So we've uh, we've done that now. Tops off because I'm boiling. Um, so now I'm just going home. Uh, Elvis is in his own car because he wasn't planning on coming to help me, but my back's that bad. He was sound as a pound and come to help me. So uh, yeah. So we're on his way home now. But thank you very much. I will end this um, this week's podcast with this. Um, if you've enjoyed it, I hope you have. Can't wait to show you what's coming up. We've got some trips to London um, on the next podcast, on the next podcast, on the next blog. We've got some trips to London. We've got a lot of things coming up that are really exciting. So, see you soon, guys. Thank you very much for watching.